We have a problem. We might have a problem. With what? Money. Money? Budget. <laughs> Budget. så eh, gjorde jag och Christian Engström gemensam aktion för att flytta 20 biljoner från 20 miljarder Precis. från eh, Common Agricultural Policy till Horizon 2020. Schist. Jordbrukspolitiken det är kanske det allra dummaste utbytet av alla EUs projekt. Det är en gigantisk massa pengar eh, som ställs av bort. Tyvärr har parlamentet inget direkt inflytande över jordbrukspolitiken. Men det vi har försökt göra var att flytta åtminstone en del pengar, 20 miljarder euro i det här fallet, från jordbrukspolitiken till forskning. Eh, det var väldigt jobbigt och stressigt för ingen av oss sitter i budgetutskottet och mm. eh, vi har ingen naturlig kontaktyta med eh, policy advisors eh, för de sakerna. Vi nådde inte hela vägen fram men ja, det var ett försök att göra någonting i alla fall. Vi lyckades få gröna att tycka att det var bra att flytta pengar på en kapp till förgrönande mm. Mm. Eh, åtgärder. Men Christian och jag tror jag har ett annat förändringsförslag i ITRE om att flytta 5% ungefär av CAP till Horizon 2020 som är forskningsbudgeten också. Och I ITRE har vi inte röstat om det än. It seems that the, the council or the, the representatives of the member states governments uh, want to make a substantial budget cutting in the multi-financial framework. So the, the big EU budget for the seven years from 2013 to 2020, uh, which will finance basically everything. Um, they want to get 100 billion from it. Between the different programs, uh, the one that could suffer most from this budget cutting, if the council makes it official, um, would be the telecommunication part, uh, which will be the internet part. Just nu ser det ut som att forskningsbudgeten i allmänhet kommer att drabbas av jättestora sänkningar. Så det är väl tveksamt om, om det ens skulle rädda den nuvarande storleken på forskningsbudgeten att man flyttar över pengar från kapp även om det vore möjligt. Well, we are doing a good job uh, on, the on engineering the future internet infrastructures uh, between 2013 and 2020. I've been working with the telecommunications guidelines in the ITRA committee. We're very favorable to having an additional financial instruments to uh, get telecommunications infrastructure because after all uh, we need also communications and kind of like pan-European services and connectivity if we're going to build a European society. I firmly believe this. What we tried to achieve inside of the, uh, in, in our amendments uh, was to make it even clearer that we want, for instance, a good separation of infrastructure from service provision in the telecommunications sector. Um, unfortunately, the clear separation between infrastructure and service provision in the telecommunications sector is not so enforced in the member states. And the actors that own the infrastructure and provide the services are often the same, which brings uh, competitive disadvantages. Uh, onto the telecommunications market. Publicly owned and operated fiber networks to which private actors can attach transmission hardware have proven a very successful means of creating competitive markets in European countries. Uh, also a strict separation between infrastructure ownership and service provision has been very successful in, for instance, South Korea and Japan and Hong Kong, uh, where large uh, high-speed network coverage is very, very high. There were many compromise amendments uh, made by the rapporteur. They uh, were actually largely good. Uh, we've had also some objections to the uh, clarification of public money going into competitive markets because, of course, there's a reluctance to uh, remove future European Union investment projects from the telecommunications net framework already in place. 
Um, unfortunately, and uh, uh, Mr. Kreutzmann mentioned this, the telecommunications network part of the Connecting Europe facility has come under question in the budget negotiations. Um, but it is clear that both the communications infrastructure and the part of this program devoted to e-government services and cultural access in Europe and open data opportunities are much needed. Um, so everyone, please contact their member states about that. And, uh Many MEPs were contacted, particularly by the Commissioner for the Digital Agenda, Nelly Cruz, about the importance of preserving also the telecommunication bits of the Connecting uh, Europe facility package. Uh, so it's very clear that the Commission is also looking for allies in how to preserve a high investment uh, flow in telecommunications infrastructure. It would be, um, yes. Uh, nothing is official yet in the emails, um, but uh, the rumors from the corridors, from the council that wants to, to cut the budget, especially in the telecom, comes to our ears. Bob used to be a dreamer. He could really dream away, and his mind was like a theater. His friends would come to play, and there were dragons there.